Now, of course, no Rails application would be complete without some sort of web server. I think we should uh, we should run your app under Passenger with Apache. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yeah. All right. So now, again, we're going to follow this same pattern where we download some cookbooks off of, this, uh, off of the cookbook site and then upload them to our Chef server, add them to our run list. So uh, we're actually going to download uh, a cookbook called Passenger underscore Apache 2. And then, Patrick, just a quick little uh, trick for you. If you do a tar xzvf... Mm -hmm. Passenger Apache 2, know that pass in that file name. Mm -hmm. And then a space, uh, dash, capital C, cookbooks. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. This, I didn't know yet. Yes. But... There you go. Great. <laughs> now, so uh, now we can uh, try to upload Passenger, to, Passenger Apache 2 cookbook um, back to our server. However, I know that it's going to fail if you try to do that because mm -hmm. it, it depends on the Apache 2 cookbook. So let's mm -hmm. go ahead and grab uh, Knife Cookbook site, download Apache 2. And okay. go ahead and extract that. Mm -hmm. Ah, great. Mm -hmm. Great. So now let's upload uh, Apache 2 and upload Passenger Apache 2 up to our Chef server. The site commands work with the community site. Um, now, certainly, you you have the permissions and ability to oh. publish to the community site, but that's not what we're trying to do mm -hmm. yet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and once that's complete, we'll just do the same for the passenger underscore Apache two cookbook. Okay. Yeah. Um, There's one other cookbook we need. Sorry, the build okay. build essential. Ah. Okay. 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 Excellent. So now let's go ahead and modify your run list again and add mm -hmm. Passenger Apache 2 to that. Uh, so again, we'll use the knife node edit Patrick VM. Uh, actually, what all we need to add here, Patrick, is ah, passenger, okay. passenger underscore Apache two. Oh, okay, interesting. Because it has all the depend dependencies uh, managed there for you. Okay. It also looks like you're missing the closing quote there before the comma. Oh yeah, yeah. And um, no, no, the the quote goes after the recipe. Yeah. Right. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. Then background provision. Correct. That's a little bit the build step in software engineering, isn't it? Or right, provision is uh, can definitely be considered uh, similar to the build build step. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is this is what's uh, you know we've configured it <coughs> to say run these these specific recipes. Uh, but then the provision step is where the, the recipes are actually executed. Okay. Yeah. We also call this, uh, in, in Chef parlance, we call this a converge. Uh, when you execute Chef Client, you're converging your infrastructure, you're converging your node so that it comes into line with the policy that you've defined. Oh, okay. So, of course, it has to download all of those cookbooks that we uh, set up then it is going to go through and install Apache 2. That's what mm -hmm. we see here. And then it will go through the passenger stuff as well. Although I have to tell you, uh, just uh, sort of a spoiler alert here, this is going, this is going to fail, I believe. <laughs> but we'll see. Maybe it, will, maybe it will work without issue. Yeah, we see lots of these resources, templates, and then, yeah. Exactly, and we will definitely spend some time looking at mm -hmm. at those various resources. Yeah. We probably won't get to it today, but definitely in our next session. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually I found um, there's in the docs um, help of 
ops code, there's a um, description on the resource, and then there are all the different resource types, and that's very interesting to Absolutely. see. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so in fact, it did fail. Uh, and you see that it threw this exception here at the end. Uh, it failed when trying to apt-get install the Apache pre-fork. Now, I happen to know the reason behind this failure, and it has to do with the fact that our apt caches are not up to date on your Vagrant instance, and mm -hmm. so we, we need to fix that. Um, the easiest way for us to fix that, of course, is with uh, another cookbook. The nice thing is it's the apt cookbook, and so we already have that downloaded. All we need to do is add the apt cookbook to our mm -hmm. run list. Okay. So the knife note, yeah. If you'll recall, some of our other cookbooks that we've played with uh, have required the apt cookbook. Okay, so we want to have it before or after the MongoDB? Right, so that's a, a very good question, and of course with Chef, order matters. So as we specify a run list, things will be executed in the order in which we list them. Uh, we know that MongoDB worked okay, but Passenger mm -hmm. Apache 2 is definitely not. So at a minimum, it needs to be in front of the Passenger Apache 2. Mm -hmm. However, I will tell you that the default apt cookbook, one of the, the things that it will do is it will refresh your apt caches, uh, it makes sense, I think, to put that at the very beginning of your run list. Okay. Just app or... That's right, just app. Okay. Yep. Great, and now we can do another vagrant provision. Okay. So there you saw it was running the apt get update, so to refresh the caches, here mm -hmm. we're at the, the pre-fork dev. This is where we failed before. Uh, so if we make it past this step, we should be uh, in the clear. Oh, okay, great. So there was no need to downgrade the Apache cookbook because it would be maybe the other way. Um, instead of upgrading the APT, which is better, but um, is, does it um, come often that you need to upgrade or downgrade um, your dependencies? Uh, yeah, so that really is going to depend on what you're trying to execute uh, and what you're trying to do within your infrastructure. You certainly may have packages that you want to upgrade, uh, and of course that can be managed with Chef. As you see here, these packages are all being upgraded uh, with Chef. So I would imagine uh, without digging into the Passenger Apache 2 or the Apache 2 cookbook, that it's, it's actually requesting the latest version of each one of these packages. Mm -hmm. Okay. And once this completes, we will have Apache and Mongo and Passenger all installed on your Vagrant node. So that gets us a lot of the sort of baseline infrastructure that we're going to need to deploy your application. Mm-hmm.